I don't think it's appropriate for me to start this one off with the peace greeting. And by the way, I'm playing this track in the background um, because I'm a jerk and because Scarecrow Beats knows I bought the license for this and they keep on um, refusing to back down off the copyright claims. Now, when they first file one, I know it's an automatic process. Then the procedure is I dispute and I show the license number that I bought. And then they say, OK, yeah, you did buy a license. We retract the claim. Scarecrow Beats keeps not doing this, knowing mother cuss what well I bought this from them. Since y'all like it and I like it, now I'm playing in such a way that the uh, algorithm doesn't identify it. Or it identifies it as background noise. Um, Mrs. Chin decided that she was going to put out another video. And this time, she didn't put her foot in her mouth. She did worse than that. She opened her mouth and a big old size 12 African foot came out. She started by saying, Uno was a set our eyes clad dunce, right there, right off the bat. See, she started with an Africanism. The first word she used does not come out of the Queen's English, the King's English, or one of the Irish Gaelic languages from which she claims that 2,000 Irish taught 60,000 African people how to talk. She started with a Mende language family West African pronoun that is the plural of you. She couldn't even start without an Africanism. Let me tell you how you know that this is white supremacy motivating her even if she does not know, and it's real simple. I've been around enough non-black folks to understand that there is a subconscious programming that is not violent, that is not dangerous, and it don't mean any harm, but it's still there. And I've been around enough to know when it is dangerous and violent, the Boers, well, I don't have to tell you what they'll do. Most Western Europeans in general. Sometimes other non-black, what they call people of color, rather other non-black, non-whites, um, are like these auxiliary supports for white supremacy without realizing it. Imagine that we went back to the old way of thinking and felt ashamed of Africa and said, I'm not black, I'm Jamaican. I'm not black, I'm Dominican. I'm not black, I'm, you know, all these other things. In other words, trying to say we're not African. I'm different from that Negro over there. Imagine we started doing this. And then we came to her and we said to her, just to prove that we're all the same, except I'm not like those other Negroes over there, but to prove that we're all the same, we should all intermarry. And, and, and to prove that we're not classist either, our men with no extra money should marry your women rather not to have extra money because we're different from those Negroes over there, but you and I, we're all the same. So suppose we went back to that brainwashed way of thinking that she's trying to promote right now and took it all the way. It doesn't even have to be marriage as the end goal. Then all of a sudden, she'd say, listen, you can tell me how different you are all you want. You ain't nothing but a jungle bunny, grass skirt wearing, coconut cracking, tree swinging, spear chucking, raw meat eating, savage African. Whatever the hell we say we are, they deny us. And whatever the hell we say we're not, they call us. And that is how you know that you are dealing with white supremacy, even if the speaker does not know that they are promoting it. We can't go to China and say that this is not a Han country, even though it's really not. So they don't have the right to go, even if they're citizens, into our nations and tell us what the hell we're not, how black we ain't and how African we ain't, after the ones up to whom they look, Massa, made these nations black African nations by extension. Thank you for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out, assalamu alaikum, and black heterosexual, non-select male power because she don't like it, and black patriarchy until extinction of judgment day thank you for flying with me on jet black airways where jet black is also a verb keep jetting black with me until the wings and the wheels fall off you've been warned miss chin